We are in Jodhpur today, the blue city of Rajasthan and our first stop is the beautiful Mehrangar Fort. So Mehrangar Fort rises 125 meters over Jodhpur making it the city's main landmark. Also the walk itself is a little steep but you will stop for taking pictures and stare at the grand doorways and balconies so often that you will hardly notice the incline. You can easily spend half of your day exploring the beautiful museum inside the fort. But my favorite part was to watch the beautiful sunset from the top of Maranga Fort. It looked really, really gorgeous. And for dinner, we headed to On The Rocks, a very famous restaurant in Jodhpur. Especially if you are a non-vegetarian, you are going to love the food here. Morning from Jodhpur, it's our day 2 in Jodhpur and it's a bright, bright sunny morning. But first up, I want to tell you the name of the property that I'm staying in. It's called the Bijolai Palace. The property otherwise looks okay, but I would definitely not recommend this property to anybody. Important reason why I would not recommend this property to you is because that it's little far from the city center and there are also no street lights. So last night when we came, we saw that uh, Pura Andhera tha, street lights bhi nahi thi and it is pretty far from the city center so it's little scary. Uh, otherwise from the outside and from the pictures that you would see on the internet, the property would look really good. Enough of the rant about the property, let's begin our day. It's a beautiful day and we don't want to waste it. So the first agenda for today is to get lost in the blue city. Uh, most of the Jodhpur's buildings and laneways are uh, painted blue the reason is still a bit unclear but today's agenda would definitely would be to ditch the map and purposely get lost in the blue city let's go as you walk past the clock tower just come straight and you would find this old blue city lot of Brahmins who used to stay in the old city of Jodhpur and the blue color is said to be the color of Lord Shiva so that ideally seems to be the most logical reason for why most of the houses in the old city are blue So while you are roaming in the old city of Jodhpur, about 350 meters from the clock tower that is Ghantaghar, you would notice that there is this Turji Ka Jhalra that is step well of Jodhpur. This was apparently built in 1740 by the queen of Maharaja Abhay Singh. Also what is really fascinating is that this was buried for really really long years and recently got back its glory. Also it has some intricate detailing on the step wells and makes you wonder on the whole water management system in the ancient time in Jodhpur. Also I read that Jodhpur has around more than 100 such step wells. Can you imagine? I actually got lost in the old city and now I am finding my way to clock tower. traditional Rajasthani Thali experience while in Jodhpur, you can come to this restaurant called The Gypsy. It serves really delicious Rajasthani food. We are at Jaswan Thada which was built by Maharaja Sardar Singh Ji in 1899 in memory of his father Maharaja Jaswan Singh II. Also this memorial is pretty close to the Mehrangar Fort so whenever you visit Mehrangar Fort please do come here and pay your respect here as well. Did 
do you like Jaswant Thada? It's good. It's a bit different than other monuments over here. Uh, for a change, it is white compared to the reds, yellows, uh, the blues of Jodhpur, uh, and it's very peaceful. It's it's just relaxing to sit over here and watch the inner edge of the Mehran Fort wall. So, a trip to Jodhpur is incomplete without some amazing, delicious street food. And today we have come to Janta Sweet House for this amazing kachori. So those were few of the experiences and recommendations for two days in Jodhpur. I hope someday you to come and experience this beauty of Mehrangar Fort, have the most delicious ghevar and kachoris and also don't forget to tag me in your pictures on Instagram when you do that. Till then I hope you like this video and if yes please do subscribe to the channel and now we are headed to Jaisalmer so it's a 5 hours drive from here. Uh, bye! See you from a new city!